Dr. David Weed, your host for the Healthy City Fall River Show, where we take a look at some of the activities in the city of Fall River that are helping us to improve our health. Fall River was awarded one of six national prizes by the prestigious Robert Wood Johnson Foundation for its efforts to improve health, and this show will show you some of the reasons why. Let's get started with an annual event that involves over 6,000 children in our schools every year. The Massachusetts Walk to School Day was started to encourage all of our schools to get kids moving. This annual event encourages children and their parents who might never consider walking to school to try it at least once with the idea that they might make it a regular event once they see how easy and enjoyable it is. Let's join the kids at the Tansy and Spencer Borden schools on an early May morning. <laughs> to have a very special guest with us this morning. Walking up here, some of you said we're exercising, but why is it so important to exercise? Emily, you said, Emily, you were one of them. Go ahead. Um, because it gets you fit and healthy to, to learn. Isn't that perfect? It gets you fit and healthy to learn. It gets you going. So I know I'm going to hand it over to the mayor to say a few words to you to get you going, and then we will head on back. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning! That was so perfect. You got it right on the first try. So you are very alert this morning. And by a show of hands, how many of you are excited to be walking to school this morning? Woohoo! That's great. It's important. Uh, as Mr. Ward said, as Emily said, to walk to school because you're becoming more alert, it's a good exercise, and you have a beautiful day to walk to school. So it's important that you, as you walk, pay attention, be safe, and listen to your teachers on the way you get there because we want to make sure everybody gets to school safely. So I'm honored to be here with you. I'm wide awake. And I'm ready to learn too. So it's great to be here, and I wish you all a happy and safe walk to school. And I'll look forward to seeing you back here next year when I come back again. And I like your little stuffed animal right there. He's <laughs> ready to walk to school too. All right. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. So what we're going to do, Miss Mrs. Lawrence, you're going to lead the pack back as you have done consistently since the fall um, with this walk. But remember, boys and girls, safety first. On the sidewalk, do not go ahead of Mrs. Lawrence, and I know Mrs. Pimento, you are the caboose, so that makes sure we don't have any stragglers behind and we all stay together as the Spencer Board and Walking Team. Oh, 
Marsha Picard, the Fall River School Wellness Coordinator for Partners for a Healthier Community. Today, May 7th, is the annual Massachusetts Walk to School Day, sort of. I say sort of because it also falls on an MCAS testing day, so schools across the Commonwealth were given the option to choose another day to walk. However, the schools that have chosen today to walk in Fall River have chosen an absolutely beautiful day to walk. We are here at the Talbot uh, Innovation, Innovative, Innovation rather, Middle School, and they are ready to do their walk, so let's get walking. Gather you students, get them ready to go, and in about one minute, I'll be back on the intercom to begin to let teachers walk students outside for our National Walk to School Day celebration. You can take the students for four times around the school, if you'd like, and then you will re-enter the building by the front doors. Thank you. That was the kind of spring day that would encourage anyone to walk. And it was clear that those children were enjoying themselves. We hope that everyone will consider walking to school or work. It's the kind of exercise that does our bodies and our minds well. Let's take a short look at a project designed to get older youth moving. Members of the Highland Park Neighborhood Association recently teamed up with some coaches to sponsor a three-on-three -three basketball tournament at the new Highland Park. Let's see what that's all about. Hi, Steve Carrera from the Highland Neighborhood Association. Uh, we're proud to sponsor a wonderful uh, basketball tournament for the area. All right, and I'm gonna let Dr. Raj Nira explain it. So we started this project some uh, two months ago with uh, Esther Shavs, Steve and myself, other gentlemen, uh, Bobby Bailey and Jason Springer. And we wanted to bring the community together in terms of athletics, academics, and so forth. So what we did was we created this first three-on-three -three tournament, and kids from the fourth grade all the way up to the 10th grade spent this entire weekend playing basketball. But in addition to that, raised money from members of the community and local businesses in which we were able to award six $1,000 scholarships, two to a boy-girl at Conley, two to a boy-girl at Jerfee, and as well two to a boy-girl 
at Diamond. So what uh, you know, great opportunity to allow these young student athletes to pursue their dreams. Uh, a lot of the volunteers were the seniors and juniors from the local high schools uh, to ref and score keep. So on all four corners, uh, we brought the uh, community together to embrace a wonderful day. But we, can I just add that we also had a health and wellness day here on this side of the park. Um, we had um, a van from Charlton Memorial Hospital. We had a dentist here represented, um, an audiologist, um, also an ophthalmologist, and um, other, other health uh, wellness um, representatives from the community that were here to give information to parents. Um, it was a wonderful day for everyone in, in the community and for Fall River. So it was wonderful. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You have a wild dog. That was your first loss, right? I'm not the one. Yeah, that was your first loss, right? They only lost yeah. one, too. I know. We got three wins, though. Yeah, we're four one. Wait, so they're playing again? Yep. All right, good. Hey! Waste the energy, fellas! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Hold on, wait, wait. You gotta wait. Gotta wait. What a great way for our neighborhood associations to do something positive for our youth. And combining it with a health fair was spectacular. I'd love to see more of these over the summer. What about it, neighborhood association members? How about a tournament in every part of the city? Unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably aware of the Greater Fall River Fitness Challenge. This four-month event draws hundreds of local residents to a low-cost fitness regime designed to get people fit and perhaps lose some unneeded pounds. This event concludes every year with a finale held at the Eagle Performing Arts Center. Let's join them for the final moments before the winners are announced. <laughs> about nutrition. Uh, this year also we decided that it was going to be a competition for prize money. So what we advertised was three um, prize, uh, top prize award winners. The top prize would get $500, the next would get $300, the next would get $200, and that money was to go toward that school's physical education program, whether it be for incentives, whether it be for physical education equipment. Uh, 16 area schools uh, accepted the challenge. There were schools in every one of the four communities, which we thought was great. Uh, even better, we think, is these projects served a combined total of 7,327 students. That's for the rest. In second place, $300, Sylvia Elementary School. And in first place, an extraordinary program in a school that has a lot of challenges, Stone Therapeutic Day School, Michelle Olin. <laughs> Congratulations on the job well done. Our students are in very good hands. We are going to start with our health screen. 
screening competition. And the winner of the health screening competition lowered their cholesterol by 20 and also lowered their blood pressure. And the winner of that is Susan Salfina. than the weight loss is the intense exercise that hundreds of challenge participants got every week throughout the winter. If you're interested in joining the group this summer, contact the Greater Fall River Recreation Office at 508-679-0922 
and ask about the free weekly summer challenge events. We're going to end with an event designed to get more kids and adults on bicycles. Mass and Motion Coordinator Julie Kelly teamed up with the Fall River Police Department and Bike Fall River to sponsor a Bicycle Safety Day at Durfee High School. Let's take a look at what this pedal power event was all about. Hi, I'm Julie Kelly. I'm the coordinator of Mass in Motion Fall River out of Government Center. And we're here today with the Fall River Police Department and Bike Fall River to have a really fun day. We're uh, a large contingent of volunteers from Bike Fall River, the Fall River Police Department, and others, the Kiwanis Club of Fall River and BMC Health, Nut, Health Net Plan have donated over 200 helmets, bicycle helmets that we're giving away along with the Fall River Police Department leading a bicycle uh, skill course and teaching the values and the rules of the road so everybody can stay safe. We're here also to promote Bike Fall River that's uh, working to get more people out on bicycles both here in Fall River and going out on side trips to the East, East Bay bike path and other uh, bike bikeways in southeastern Mass and the south coast. So come on down um, or give us a call rather to learn more about Bike Fall River and to um, you know make sure that your kids are safe bicycling when they go out and start using bicycles for transportation. That's what it, that's what why we're here today and that's what it's all about. So thank you. Up a little bit. All right, let's try this one. That, how does that feel on your head? Yeah, that, come close to me. Does it hurt? No, it's not pushing on your hair too much? I think that's going to be the right one. I like this one much better. This one I, this one I like much better. This one's going to be the same thing with the holes. I'm not going to put okay. it on because it looks like a couple that might not. But you're still going to have, you're going to have a visor like this. Mom said that that'll, that'll take care of it when you get home. Because some of them, they're not fitting right, and we don't want it to break, because then your helmet won't look cool. And you want, you want your helmet to look cool, too. Okay, a little bit tighter. Just a little bit tighter. Because this is what's most important. And you see how you have it on like this, just like mine's on straight, right? It's not up on the top of your head like this. Because you know what this does? Nothing. Because if you fall forward, guess what's going to hit? Your head, right? That's why you keep it straight all the time. I know, I've fallen off my bike many times. It's important though. They get upset with me. I'm a little obsessive. I make them wear them when they go ice skating. Like <laughs> it's funny you say that, but I have a friend of mine who has been an avid skier his whole life. And only in the last few years has he started wearing a helmet because it's just people just don't. All right, let's take it back because I might be able to get this visor on for you because this one looks like the holes are open. It seems like the red ones are a little bit better. Than now this is going to help mom and dad because now you won't fight with your sister about what color your helmet is. Two, my daughters never fight. Two different oh colors. Oh my gosh, you must be a perfect parent. <laughs> Mom, she's got my helmet. <laughs> okay, we can tighten these up a little bit. Okay, let me see. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, see? Look at that. Perfect my new. There you go. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's easy for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little trick. Yeah, right. A little tap. A little tap, a little tap, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't really have to worry about this. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, right. Everything sticks to it. Yeah, you don't want to use that extreme. You're good to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now we're going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Like eight. So thank you, right? You have one more. Are you ready? Okay, back up. Wheels on the front wheel on that, that line. Here we go. Ready? Set, go. Oh, slow start. Slow, slow, slow. You're going too fast. Slow. No, actually, just the opposite. Oh, so we got a winner at 15, 16. Pull on the brakes like that. That's all right. Come on. 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 Oh, the opposite for the win. There you go. 34. What was the name for? Uh, they can sit along the water with them and they can play at the, you know, there's, there's, a, there's pond there. Or whatever. It's, it's beautiful too. It is. No, it's a nice look to it. Yeah. And, and it's good for little ones who are just starting yeah. to get on the road. We'll probably check it out when we leave. Yeah. Just so we know where it is. Yeah. Right along. You familiar with Fall River? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know where LaPage's Seafood is? Yeah. Right behind LaPage's Seafood. That, that walkway. You know, oh, okay, there's that UMass place too. Correct. Right. That's, oh, where yeah. right. that's where it starts. That's where it starts. Right yeah, the yeah, yeah. Right there. And it stays behind. It, it stays behind and it goes right to the Westport line. Yeah. And then you can just turn around and go back. Cool. But that's the spot to get the little ones like this going. Cool. And that's a beautiful, Correct. that's a nice area. Correct. Thank you. And they don't have to, they don't have totally to worry about the all the traffic. That's great. You, and you can go at any time. Any time. Okay. You can teach them to stop there, go. It, it's a nice spot oh, for it's a nice, I little ones. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. you know the pack mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Yeah. It's perfect for the little ones. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, uh, like, best bike. Uh, bike. Bike caller. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Bike caller. Do you know? Do you want one? Okay, I can talk to him. Oh, yeah. He's trying to get you guys back. Huh? Oh, I love it. I said I'd drive you well, last time. I'm going to hold it for you while you get it. Yep, I am. Go down the road, get a helmet. Keep an eye on her. She's doing good. I saw you there. Oh, that's nice. One's out. Those are. Some psychological warfare being applied. <laughs> Oh, come on, keep going, keep going. Remember, you're going for the time. You're going for the record. Going for the record. Put in the race. Keep going. Yo. Keep going. So how about it? If you and your children haven't been riding bicycles, now's the perfect season. With more and more designated routes around the city and the South Watupa bike path available for small children, wouldn't this be a good time to engage your own pedal power? That does it for this show, but before I go, remember, if you're doing something that helps people in Fall River lead healthier lives, you can contact me at drweed at cox.net, and I may cover those events on an upcoming episode of this show. Until next time, this is Dr. Weed reminding you not only to keep yourself healthy, but to look for ways to make the entire community a healthier place to live, work, and play.